All right, it is day three of our Booking Blitz. Can I tell you, I'm super, super pumped. Everybody's been doing a great job. So if you're with somebody tonight in the room or you're watching or in the chat, let's give everybody a virtual high five or give that person a high five in the room for actually coming and competing and taking some time. I think that this is my favorite time is when we're all able to work together. Um, I had a board call a couple days ago and we talked about that. We talked about how to make sure that culture, culture is a way to grow. Culture of going out there, working together, figuring out ways to give each other ideas, giving each other like that's the you know pats on the back. Because in the world, we don't get that a lot, right? So this has been fantastic. And a lot of new people have been able to learn how to go out there and talk about the business, how to talk about going out there and, and spoiling their hostesses. Some people, that's been their first ever event that they've ever booked. Some people have said, hey, I booked a digital party or I booked an in-person party but they were able to go out there and really start this. So I just want to applaud everybody of what they've been able to do. And again, the numbers continue to keep rising. We continue to get marching towards that 10,000 number. And again, let's talk about this. I want to make sure we make sure that we talk about a couple things. Number one, we're going to be talking about product marketing, a question game. Also, we got some expert hosted coaching and more and more giveaways that are going to be taking place. Now, don't forget about the rules, right? All these parties need to be placed and held in the month of May and all the way through June 30th. We have a couple different competitions, right? That party to, to be able to compete, we need to make sure that that party's entered into the OO. Last night, we showed you the way to do that. Um, make sure you go to our Facebook page, all of the assets for this entire event, also how to put the party in the system, it's all there for you. So make sure you be able to take advantage of that. We also have a team competition. Remember, we have 15 teams who weren't wanting to spoil. Team number one walking away with $1,000 in cash towards their team event. Also having teams that are six through 15 walking away with $100 for their team event. So for the next team event, we wanna make sure we're doing that. Also, the top three partners or consultants in each level are gonna get $100 and free product for going out there and doing what they do, which is going out there and sharing the opportunity. So a lot of cool, cool stuff that, that we have about booking, sharing, and just having conversations with people. So don't forget about that as we move into our last day of the event. Now I know we're gonna have some really cool stuff that's going on too, like the hostess incentives, right? Make sure we remember $250 is the way you can actually, that's the starting level for somebody to be able to go out there and get one of the amazing um, uh, part, packages that we have that we're offering to our hostesses out there. So make sure you take advantage of that. Um, but I think the last thing before we kind of get into this and we talk about the product marketing and throw some of the stuff that we have your way is this. When you think about push-pull marketing, you guys have heard me do a lot of this at Rise and Grind. Um, I think it's important to think about this. When we think about push marketing, push marketing is like putting this on Facebook and putting this on Instagram and, and pushing this on Twitter, Remember, all our, or even TikTok. All of that is that push marketing. Flyers are push marketing. But what we know today more than ever in this kind of, what, this new state of reconnection, the, the great reconnection that we're in, is that pull marketing, not push marketing, but pull marketing, People prefer that. 71% of people prefer that you going out there and being able to pick up a phone, call them, text message. People want to feel important. They want to feel like you care about them. They want to feel like, hey, man, somebody was thinking about me, about either giving me free product or this great hostess incentive, or for me to be able to have my friends and my friends get together. So take advantage of that because, I, I, yeah, I, I love the people that are posting the, all of these assets and stuff like that on Facebook. Instagram and, and, but text your friends them, text the people that have been there, past hostesses. In our conversation the other day, you know, the first day, Angela Robinson said, hey, listen, pick up, go to some of your past hostesses, see if they're interested in rebooking. Also, some people that maybe you've met in some of your networking groups as you've went through and discussed all the different things during, uh, you know, the last couple of years. You've met a lot of people online, utilize that, talk to them, be able to have that discussion. So again, get ready to go, get ready to have some fun tonight because I'm going to get it kicked off right now with your Chief Strategy Officer, Ms. Cheryl Forrest. Cheryl, take it away. I'm super excited about all these things right here. Are you? I am in love right now. It's probably like birthing some babies for you. Yes, I've had way more children than any human should. <laughs> I love it. But these do great things, right? So these kids, your little babies that you're launching, are destined to help a lot of people. 
Yeah, they provide you support from day one rather yeah. than you just supporting them, you know? Right. I like the spin. I like the twist. So let's start with collagen. I know, you know me, a number of years ago, I personally started taking collagen, but we didn't have it at the time. So mm -hmm. I went out in the market and was doing all of this research to say, what are good collagens? What are not so great collagens? What should I look for? And the research was intense. Mm -hmm. What do you think some of the things are that people should know about our collagen? What sets it apart? So our collagen is the best of the best collagen. It's the grass-fed bovine collagen types one and three. They're the most abundant proteins in our body. And there are a number of factors, and age being the one. You know, we can't turn back the time. So we're constantly going to lose our natural collagen. Yeah, I know for me, that's why I started looking at collagen and saying, ooh, I think I need to add this into my routine because I knew with age, it continued to decrease. So. What is a lack of collagen or lower collagen start to impact? Well, the first thing you think of is skin, mm -hmm. joints, bones, um, hair, hair, I noticed nails. It in my hair, yeah. So it's so interesting how tied to so much of our life collagen is, and how many other things that can improve. I mean. I was even reading today that it's been known to help with some sleep disorders. And it's funny because a partner and I just discussed yesterday two positives that we've had and we couldn't pinpoint why. Hmm. And the two positives were uh, one that we talk a lot about now that Pure 21 has launched, but bowel movements. Mm -hmm. And the other is sleep and we couldn't figure out. And it just so happens that both of us started taking our collagen at the same time. Nice. We have the same positive results. Nice. It, it's abundant. You start to lose it with age, but you can supplement it. And there's those benefits that come along with it, right? Mm -hmm. But the benefits tend to be subtle in the beginning. At least that's what I found. You've got to hang in there with this product for the long term. It's not mm -hmm. like a, oh, I just take it once and I'm going to have an immediate feeling, right? This isn't an energy drink. Correct. But, I mean, the protein does give you energy. It it's just not that abundant, you know, mm -hmm. immediately. And they do say, studies show, that you need to take it at least eight weeks before you'll start noticing some real yeah. results. So I know I made a few mistakes when I was taking it. I shared some of those along the way, that I was one of those people that was just putting it in cold water and it was getting all clumpy and then I was trying to choke it down. And no, if it's going to be miserable and unpleasant, I'm not going to hang in there for the long haul. So. I found out that if I put it in a hot drink, mm -hmm. right, it just dissipates right in that drink. I don't even know what's there. I know you do something different though. Yeah, I put it in my morning smoothie with my Pure 21 Pro Way protein. So I get the double dose of protein in the morning. Nice. And I did try it in my flavored water. So let's see if it helps. You know, mm -hmm. it's flavored water. Is it going to help? And no, it doesn't. It still tastes bad, even though it's unflavored. But yeah. all of them on the market, you, I mean, Let's be honest with what it is. It's not going to be 100% flavorless. Yeah, exactly. So mix it into something that it's just going to blend away for mm -hmm. you. And you've got to stay really consistent with it. Take it every single day. Mm -hmm. Same as immunity, right? Like you have to support that immune system every mm -hmm. single day. Now, I love the fact of what we've done with Pure 21 and how much impact gut health has on immunity. Oh my gosh, we don't talk about it enough mm -hmm. out there. But you can actually supplement now. Yeah, so we're supplementing with our Pure 21, we're supplementing with our collagen, which again helps with weight loss support and lean muscle growth, um, and then our immunity boost. So not we have the vitamin C, an immunity boost, which a lot of people feel that vitamin C is needed when taking collagen supplements, but actually the studies show that vitamin C deficiencies actually um, cause your body to produce less naturally. So mm -hmm. it doesn't really support collagen supplementing, but it does support your naturals, your body's natural production of collagen. Yeah. I think that's really important. That's what I love that we do here is we do delve into the research because I know when I was on my own wellness journey, it took me hours. I read so many books. I talked to so many different people and there's so many different opinions out there that it's nice that it's just simple for us. Yeah, right? it I mean, takes the guesswork out. I'm still reading every day. I had it's funny. I had another conversation with a partner who said she just did a party, and when she brought up collagen, these are cosmetologists, by the way. So these mm. people learn about skin and nails and everything when they're going through the program, but they looked at her like, you, "You're eating the collagen that I would put on my face." 
So just, it's so amazing how many people don't know that these types of products exist to just help them day to day. Beauty from the inside out. Yeah. Beauty from the inside Absolutely. out. You gotta take care of yourself, right? And especially your skin and how you feel. And we always say that brings you back to sexy, right? Like it has to. And especially with Secret Garden, I, I don't know if you've tried it, but I feel sexy when I have Secret Garden on. I love the fact that um, we don't have a lot of scents in the line. I know we have a lot of scents right now, but we don't have a lot of scents in the line that are similar to this, right? Like, so what makes this stand apart? What were we going for? It's our, it's our one and only floral right? that we've had in so long. And it's so light, it's airy, it's fresh, it's green. So it's not like, you're placing rose on your body and you just can't get the scent off. Like it's very friendly and just, you know, happy. I love it. So whether you're a social seller, you're out there sharing products, right, directly to people in the public, or you're somebody who's booking and holding parties along the way, which we've seen so many people go back to that. Now's the time to look at your demos. Mm -hmm. Look at what you're featuring. We're, we're coming into summer. Like, hopefully spring will happen soon, but summer's <laughs> gonna be here before we know it. And the reality of it is we have so many items in our line that can help with that summer skin, bringing on that sexy and that glow. You wanna highlight a few of your favorites? Well, you know, I think it's it's great that our Pina Colada Bosom Buddy came back in right? stock because that makes me feel like uh, it's summertime, I'm on a beach somewhere having a drink. So I always go to the Bosom Buddy Pina Colada. And then the other one is, I. Look at this, I need to prep myself for bathing suit season right now. Oh no. Coco Glow needs to come out. I've been slacking on it recently, but it's it's a no brainer. You don't want to show up at the first pool party of the summer and right? be completely pale. No, and then of course, all of these health items combined with body boost, you can't, I mean, you need a little body boost in your life, right? A little, every little extra helps. For sure. Yeah, I mean, we are gonna just be strutting our stuff all over the summer yeah. season. Totally. So look at your table, right? If you're holding in-person parties and flip some of those products to more of that summer focus, think about the bundles that you can offer to customers to put these items together. And think about on social when you're talking about collagen, immunity, right? Pure 21, how these items can attract new audiences to all of the amazing things we already do. Congratulations yeah. on the babies. Oh, more. <laughs> Thank you. And I just want to make sure everyone knows, check out the frequently asked questions updated on pure21.com. Collagen peptides and immunity boost are now available on there. So we've gathered questions that have been thrown our way and that's there. So you can help educate yourself and your customers. So good. I got to go take some collagen now. Abby, are you using collagen yet? No, should I be? Well, yeah, you're 26. Not saying you're old, but okay, cool. your collagen Sick. isn't producing Let's just do like some it was. Giveaways, so. Vivian. All right, well, just you know, maybe you should do shot. some collagen. You're right. Let's. We're picking five winners. Let's get going. We just restocked the drum. It's super full. All right, let's see what we got here. First one. You want to read the first one? Okay. Amy Simpson, you get fifty dollars in free product. product. Love it. Crystal yeah. Bowls, Woo. fifty. That's a familiar name. Fifty dollars in free product. We have Rebecca Menicki, $50 in free product. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. We have Ashley Fuit, Fuit, Ashley. Nice job on that pronunciation. From Utah. That was great. And then we have Ashley Haleko from Whitehaven, PA, $50 in free product. And Congratulations. then there's an extra one pulled in. I know we were only supposed to do five. Let's do a six. I just feel like it's Rule bad breakers. Juju. Yeah. Jolene Shot, you also win $50 in free product. And remember, you must email livealive at pureromance.com by 10 15 tonight to get your free product. That's so right. So don't forget to do that. So if you hear your friend's name called, maybe be a good friend and yeah, let her know. Yeah, make sure you remind them. All right. So you, you right now are watching the Booking Blitz. So if you're watching, be sure to show us um, how you're watching your watch parties. We have seen a couple on social media. So let's throw those up and see how other partners are celebrating. I get the good fortune 
to talk to two amazing women. We've got Andrea Burns and Beth Martin with us today, and they are gonna talk about one of their favorite topics, hostess coaching or party planning, whatever you prefer to call it. How are you both doing today? Really Wonderful. Good. All right, I'm gonna ask you the hardest question right out of the gate. What do you think your superpower is in the business? Andrea, I'm gonna start with you. I feel like my superpower is consistency. I show up no matter what. Ooh, I love it. Beth, how about you? Um, I would say connection, definitely. I think it's so true for both of you, so true. And it shows up in everything you do, and that's why I love it. Everybody else, pop in the chat. Like, do you know what your superpower is in the business? This question stumps a lot of people, and we want to know. It's important to know what you're best at, right? Because you capitalize on those strengths. The next thing I want to dive in with both of you is how do you make parties super successful? It really does come down to, I believe, the planning that happens before the party even takes place. So what are some of the tips that you have to make parties successful before they even happen? Andrea, I'll start with you. I, so the way that I look at my party planning um, or hostess coaching is that I don't do to them what I wouldn't want done to me. So if I'm hosting a party for somebody else, I don't want them calling me every day. I don't want them treating me like a drill sergeant. I don't honestly don't even want them to make it seem like I'm their business partner because I didn't sign up for the business. I signed up to be the hostess, to have fun, to, you know, to enjoy my evening, not work that evening. So I like to treat my hostesses um, how I would like to be treated as a hostess. So I'm a little more laid back and casual in my hostess coaching. It's consistent and it's on point, but I think I have a way of like taking the pressure off of them and making them see that this can be so much fun as opposed to like, I need you to work for me. So true. I mean, nobody wants to work with a drill sergeant. They booked a party to have fun, right? And they right. want to be connected with you. Beth, how about you? What are some of your tips on that interaction before the party takes place? Um, I like to make sure that I've got all my ducks in a row so that way I'm making sure that her party is being planned the way that she wants it to be held and executed. I want her to feel special in the process. So I like to get like if she wants to do a theme party, a spa party, a traditional. Um, I like to know if, you know, it's for any special occasion. And that way I can my, my three things I always want my hostesses to feel during the party, starting from the beginning, is that it's fun, it's easy, and it makes them feel special. Those are the things. So if you party with me, like you're going to have fun, but it's going to be easy. I do everything for you. So you just, you get to actually enjoy the party planning process, um, not having to work, like Andrea said. So. I love it. So yeah. Beth, you, you mentioned that you want to find out why she wants to hold the party. What are some of the other things you like to learn about who's coming to the party before the party even happens? Actually, I love finding out who I've partied with before. And I like to know who comes from out of town because once they join the group and I do a welcome post, I can look at my notes and see if someone says that they're coming. I can say, oh my gosh, my hostess name is so excited that you're coming all the way from you know, Memphis. How exciting. Um, but I also like to know who I've partied with before. So sometimes I'll stalk the people invited. Other times I'll ask my hostess and write down notes because if the group gets a little dead, I like to tag those that have partied with me before under my interactive posts to get the excitement engagement going again. So also it just creates more of a community before the party starts. So mm, nice. I like to know all the things. Nice. Andrea, how about you? What are some of the things you like to tune into before that party takes place? So I agree with Beth, but in the opposite, I like to know who's never been to a party um, because I kind of want to know what, what they think they're going to walk into. Um, Cause what I've noticed is that most ladies that have not attended a party have the wildest imagination about what happens at these parties. And more than likely it's from their partner putting something in their head about going to this party. It's just going to be wild and crazy. But I think I like to know beforehand how many ladies have actually never been to a party or maybe even have never even like dabbled in bedroom accessories or things like that, because I want to make sure that that they all know how much is there, you know, to offer. But on top of that, yes, of course, we sell sex toys, but I want them to know that this is it's more of a safe space. 
You're not going to be called out onto the carpet to share any of your business. I, I like to know beforehand who's never been. Nice. So how does most of your communication before the party takes place, how does that occur? Is it through text message? Are you on the phone? What does that look like? Andrea, I'll start with you. Okay. Um, I personally do not like phone calls. I just, I don't love them. I'll do them if I have to. Um, but I do ask my hostess their preferred method of communication. And what I've noticed recently is that it's either Facebook Messenger or via text message is, is the way they prefer um, to communicate. And I feel like I really like Facebook Messenger because it tells you when they saw the message versus if I text them, I can't see on my phone if they've read it or not. Um, I'm an Android, but I can't see if they've read my message or not, but on Messenger, I can see if they've read it. And then I know that if I didn't get a response, probably got busy, or I know how to address the next step because I see that they saw it or didn't see it, if that makes sense. Yeah, it totally makes sense. Beth, how about you? How's that communication taking place for you? Um, pretty similar to Andrea. I do like to, I like to touch base with them voice to voice once and it could be like a hey girl um i have a couple questions want to make sure i've got everything planned just right for your party do you have a couple minutes to chat um and usually they do but man that one phone call i get way more accomplished than i do in 15 messages and it's a way that we can connect and laugh together and they remember why they wanted to party because I'm so funny. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but like with the private messaging, um, I'll do a voice to text, things like that. And I usually get a ha 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 back. Um, but it, it's mostly private messaging and text messaging because once the Facebook group goes up, I send a private message to let them know and then what to do, like comment, tag, post on everything first. So your friends see you playing with me. And then I send her a text message invitation to send everybody via text. So that way she's touching her um, guests a couple of different ways. So they're, they're getting it more often. So I send them, this all sounds so dirty, doesn't it? Um, they're getting it both ways. Hey, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we don't judge around here. It's fine. We don't judge. <laughs> voice. I think, I think voice memos and messenger are like so much fun when yeah. it comes to like them feeling your energy or even like getting to know your personality a little bit better. I feel like Voice memos are so clutch and you can do that right on Messenger. I just, I love a good voice memo. Same. Yeah, I agree with you. They can hear your enthusiasm. And for me, I know I get a lot of information that comes to my phone. And when I'm on the go, if I can just listen to a message yes. and not read a long message, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's some basic nuts and bolts, some, some things that you need the hostess to know in order to have a successful party. What are some of the key pieces of information you want to relay? Beth, I'm going to start with you. Like, like just count them down. I need her to know this and this and this. Um, well, and I, I put it in the Facebook group and I put it in the text message and I put it in a lot of the things I go out because they need to see it 15 times. No, no men, no babies. Um, <laughs> I have a picture that I send out to the hostess of a shirtless, sexy, muscly guy holding a baby. And it says, no matter how sexy or cute they are, they still can't be on the premises of the party. I feel like the most important things I want them to know, I do in a picture to catch their eyes. So um, I arrive 30 minutes early for setup. Please make sure, um, you know, that there are no men, no, no kids, things like that. But, um, but mostly it's just that. And then um, I, if it's a bachelorette party, I like to talk to them about alcohol, like how much is going to be served, you know, like, can you limit it a little bit for the after party, um, things like that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else other than I get there 30 minutes early, what, how the shopping room is going to go, uh, let everyone know I, you pay tonight, you play tonight with me, so they get to take their things home, um, and then again, the no, no men, no babies, and then I, I like to, um, kind of give them an idea of what time I'd be out as well. So that way they have an expectation, their family has an expectation, stuff like that. Awesome. Andrea, anything else we need to touch on? Anything come to mind for you? What do you like to tell her in advance? My, my um, pretty much most of what Beth does, um, a couple little extra things that I throw in there is that I ask for a parking spot close to the door. Oh. Like, could you please hold my spot for me? And I've had some of the best ways for that. They, I've had ladies bring a kitchen chair out to the driveway, sign that says reserved for Andrea. Like I, I love it. 
But um, also, I, I also ask that shopping room be on the main floor because I carry a good amount of inventory with me. Mm -hmm. um, but a couple of like the main things with, with party prep, I make sure that they know that this, yes, we're going to have a good time. Yes, I'm very entertaining. I, I do think I'm very fun. But this is a shopping event. Um, so I need you to kind of drill that home with your friends that are coming because I can't hook you up if they don't, sh if they don't know that they're coming to shop. Um, and I've also noticed recently too, that a lot of ladies aren't telling their friends that it's a pure romance party. Like there, it's happened at my last couple of parties. There was at least two or three at each party that had no idea it was pure romance. So I didn't bring enough money and I don't know how true it is, but I like to take a little bit of control and how Beth was saying, she sends them a message to send out. I do something pretty similar um, with my posts and my messages and things like that in the event, but making sure that they know it's pure romance, making sure they know that it's a shopping party, I have pr plenty of product that you'll get to take home um, and making sure that they know it'll be super comfortable too. That's an so interesting that surprise party. That. Sorry, go ahead. What, I say, I'm glad that she said that because in every, my picture text, my Facebook group description, everything it says, come to laugh, learn and shop. Everyone, that's my tagline for the party. Let's let, you're invited to a pure romance party. Let's laugh, learn and shop together. And um, so that's great. Yeah. Oh, I love that language, Jane. Love it. All right, let's do some troubleshooting because it happens, right? And we've got a lot of new people with us that are probably holding their first party or maybe their second party. And sometimes when those curveballs happen, it can be a little bit hard to like stay on your feet and know how to handle it. So let's say you reach out to a hostess, but she ghosts you. You can't get her on the phone. What do you do? I'll go first. <laughs> Um, I like to assume um, the best instead of automatically assuming that I can't believe that I trusted her and she's just blowing me off. I, I would rather assume something may have come up or she read my message and didn't, didn't quite, couldn't quite respond right at that time. So I always like to assume, what is it, best intentions? So if I send a message and I don't hear back and I see that they've read it, I circle back. I just, you, you have to be really... Um, on point when it comes to that follow-up, because if you don't remember to come back and you never hear back from them, then, then a lot of stuff can go under the radar. Um, but I make sure to circle back. And when I circle back, it's a no pressure type of thing. It's not, excuse me, I messaged you and didn't hear back. It's more of like a, Hey girl, I know, I know you saw my message and I've gotten busy too. So I just wanted to make sure we're all good to go with A, B, and C, like coming back and assuming that it wasn't you know, a personal thing against you or assuming that, you know, she just got busy and she's still super excited. Um, and in the event that maybe she does need to um, reschedule or cancel or something along those lines, then you got to handle the, the, that a little differently. Um, still being super positive about it, being super friendly and just, I, I have no problem letting someone off the hook when I can tell that they don't feel quite ready for a party. Um, because I don't ever want to feel like I'm being a super pushy person. Obviously, navigating, you know, some of those curveballs, and usually it's the day of where they they kind of freak out because you know all my closest friends have backed out on me. So addressing all of those things and letting her know that that happens. Um, but I just feel like it's super important to always assume best intentions instead of immediately being reactive or or protecting yourself or defensive. Yeah, it builds that relationship for sure. Yes. All right, Beth, yes. I'm going to give you the next one. You reach out and she's like, oh my gosh, none of my friends can come. I don't know if I'm going to have enough people show up. How do you go into damage control mode? Can you turn that around? Uh, yes, actually. Um, there are a couple of things that I, I like to um, offer. There's probably three from an in-home party standpoint. Um, one is I ask her, you know, first of all, I ask, who, who she has invited. And, you know, our who do you know list for a consultant is also really helpful for us to use to, for our hostess um, to kind of help to pick her brain to think of people she hasn't thought of before. Um, but then as I'm talking with her, I can pinpoint girls that would be a really great co-host and say, hey, why don't you, why don't you have a friend, you know, join the fun and also be a hostess and have her bring her friends. Um, so that's another option. And then um, I have this really cute um, picture 
that I send out to my hostesses and post in the Facebook group. And it's a light bulb bringing flowers and all these Christmas lights are living room. It says, oh, you all are going? She said, we're Christmas lights. When one goes, we all go out. So it's, it's a bring a friend. So treat your friends like gift cards. For every shopping friend they bring, they get a $5 gift card. I've had girls come into the shopping room and get $15 off because three of their friends shopped and that was half the party or virtual party. If it's an in-home and she's really worried about it, maybe you're driving a long distance and you're nervous about it, um, you know, recouping your gas money since it's higher, you know, maybe talk to her and see what the reason is these girls are giving you that they can't make it. And if it's because of X, Y, Z, and you're able to turn it into a virtual party, then that's, then that's great too. So yeah, any way you can save it. Got to roll with it. Got to roll with it. Okay. Really quick. I get this question. This is one of my favorite questions lately. Andrea, I'm going to start with you. What are you most excited about right now? Oh my, I'm most excited about getting back in homes and doing parties. My last few in-home parties, not just sales were insane, but not just that, like being back in front of people and laughing and just, I'm so, I'm the most excited about that. Like it just, be, it's like riding a bike. I, I was nervous, but when, when you get going, it's literally like, damn, I am pretty good at this. Like, You are great at this, not just pretty thanks. good at it, great at it. Beth, what about you? What are you most excited about? Parties, honestly, parties, meeting people, connecting with people. Um, I, I feel more genuine than ever before where I'm thanking people in a special way, getting their kind words, sending them a thank you note after. I've always had the intentions to do that. 17 years later, I'm finally doing it. And it, it just makes my soul so happy to, I mean, it's just, for me, the parties aren't stopped. They don't stop when I leave their driveway anymore. And I'm really making good connections to where when they join my team, we're already so tight, you know, like it's just, I don't know. Um, the parties are more fun. They're more engaging. The connection is more real, probably because we've, we've been denying ourselves that for so long. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it feels like a different ball game. Definitely. Totally. I was just going to say that. I was yeah. just going to say it feels different. Like the in-home parties just feel different right now. Yeah, I think people are excited to be back together. I, I agree with those that are saying it's the great reconnection. And you are both great examples of making that happen. So Beth, Andrea, thank you so much for visiting us, sharing your hostess coaching tips and showing us you can fall in love with hostess coaching and more importantly, making those parties successful. Talk about success. Share it with me in the chat. Have you done Pure 21 yet? Are you planning on trying Pure 21? Or are you like, I'm thinking about it. Tell us in the chat. It is an amazing program. We hope you try it. Let's take a look. All right, hey, Cheryl, thanks so much. And by the way, how do you get to interview A.B. and also Beth Martin? I mean, that is what I'm talking about, how to keep those parties going, how to make sure things are keeping hot and fresh. Those are two amazing, amazing consultants out there doing some awesome, awesome work. Speaking of another consultant that's out there that's doing some awesome work out of Columbus, Ohio, got the lovely opportunity to be able to travel with uh, her during uh, our Live Alive tour, and that's Ashley Cohen. And tonight, Ashley's just going to talk a little bit about sponsoring and how to share the you know, eight question card game, how to do that at your party, how to do it both in person and online. So take a listen as Ashley showcases how she does the eight question card game. Now, like I said, I got into this for fun to get out of the house and now I love that I have that flexibility to really create my own schedule, work around my family, but also contribute to the household income. Other reasons that ladies get into this business are paying for weddings, divorces, right? College, oops, braces, paying off debt, a million different reasons, okay? But I actually wanna answer some of the most popular questions I get. I'm gonna give everybody two cards and we're gonna answer these all together. And at the end of this, you're actually gonna have the opportunity to ask me any additional questions. 
So number one, who's got number one? I do. All right, read that for me. How much does it cost to join Pure Romance? So we have three different starter kits for three different budgets, and they're gonna start at 219, the ones we just went over. Thank you. Number two. That's me again. Oh, okay. What type of training will I get? Oh, I love the training. So typically, I'm gonna have a new consultant with me, and she's gonna shadow the party to get some hands-on experience. On top of that, you have online training. Y'all are super busy, so this is actually self-paced. It allows you to get that training when you have time to fit it in. On top of that, we're gonna have in-person monthly meetings at my house, and I'm gonna be available to you as your mentor, as someone who's gonna be a personal cheerleader and guide you along the way throughout your journey with Pure Romance. Number three. Do I have to work a certain amount of time? Oh, I love this question. <laughs> no. There is no party requirement. You can work as little or as much as you'd like. This is a business for what you put into it is going to indi um, indicative of what you're gonna get out of it, all right? So the more you put in, the more you're gonna get out. If you're not working too much, you're not gonna get a whole lot out of it. Number four. How much money can I make with PR Romance? Oh, I love this. So on average, a brand new consultant is gonna profit around $180 to $200 per in-home party. That's brand new cash in hand that night. Super easy. Number five. Uh, what are the perks for Pure Romance Consultants? Ooh, what do you guys think the perks are? Discount. Yes, girl. <laughs> it is fun. I know. I needed something fun to do. Anything else you guys see? So I love that I really get to make my own schedule. Mm -hmm. Fabulous, right? I get to work when I want to. I can take vacations and not worry about it. I also didn't know that I liked to travel until it was free. So the free trips are always fabulous and I love that I constantly have income coming in from different resources and we'll talk about that here in just a second. Number six. How soon can I start making money? Oh, I love this question. So most people are like in a need it now situation. So if you're ready to make money today, as soon as we get your kit ordered, you are actually gonna have a free website for your first year and the company sets it up for you. It's a professional website and you can start getting orders on there so you can make money today. Number seven. How does a pure romance consultant make money? Oh, I love this. There's actually four avenues that we make money off of. So number one, that free website. You are going to get a weekly commission check from our corporate office for all of those online orders. Number two, in-home parties. Just like this, I told y'all you're gonna make about $180 to $200 on your corporate average as far as what you are taking home that day and you get paid that day too. Number three, does anybody have a credit card where you've got that cash back bonus the next month? Y'all, we have retail sales bonuses. So when we hit certain quota for the month in our sales, we get up to 12.5% cash back, right? I only get like 5% back on my credit card and I'm like, don't tell me how much I spent, but by all <laughs> means, that's an extra 12.5% commission that you could earn every single month. Now, number four, it's going to be sharing the opportunity with other women. So our corporate office is actually going to pay you when you help spread the love and help change other women's lives. Number eight, what do you like most about your pure romance business? So honestly, what I like most about this business is something I never expected to find. When I started this, I was in a very deep depression. I was somebody who lacked a ton of self-confidence and I actually struggled in my relationship. Our communication was pretty awful. And so through this, I've actually learned how to better communicate with my partner. I've learned how to love myself, be very invested in my relationship, and my confidence has skyrocketed. And now I actually get to instill that confidence and self-love to every woman that I meet. And that is so amazing to have that kind of light that you can offer people. So that's probably my favorite thing is really truly helping every woman experience that love and self-worth that they need and typically they don't get elsewhere. All right, any other questions that you have about the business opportunity? No? You guys are good? Awesome. If you think of anything else, you are welcome to ask me in the shopping room. Babe, are you ready for the last giveaway of the night? I am so ready. All last right. one of booking bliss. Yes. Can't true. believe it. Where'd the time go? All right, so we are gonna pick 10 names. Pick five. I'm gonna spin the wheel. Let's do this. $100 in free product. This Who goes to Leanne Rhodes. 
Senior National Director. Great job, Leanne. You've earned it. We got Heidi Chin from Oregon. All right, let's do those two at 100, and then let's spin it again. All right. Get higher. Need more. Big money, big money. Come on, come on. 250 oh, cash. cash. Let's go. All right. Who gets these? Um, Amber Feltis. Nice. From Oregon again. Congrats, Amber. Then we got Lindsay Tallu. Tallu, love that last name. And then another, Lindsay Maidum. Lots of Lindsays, eh? <laughs> Lots of Lindsays. All right, let's do another spin. I think that was five. We got five more. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Woo! 250, 250 and free product. product. Who's getting All it? All right. Let's do two more. We have Brandy Clark in Porter, Indiana. Congrats. And Amber Feltis. I feel like she might have already won. Yeah. All right. Big winner. And our last three. Come on. We got $100, $100 free in product. free product. Love it. We have Tasha Ross. Brian Osborne. And Jolene Schott. Congratulations, Congrats, you guys. Ladies. Now we're going to kick it back off to Cheryl at the main stage. See you guys. I am super excited to have two rock stars with us. We have Sandy Latour and Sarah Ingham, both from different parts of the world here in the United States. We're going to tap into them because I know they've been with us for a long time, veterans of the business, and have had great track records of holding parties and making them successful. Sandy and Sarah, how are you doing today? Doing good, thank you. Awesome. Really good, thank thanks. You. Thanks so much for joining us. So um, I want both perspectives because you are in different parts of the country. So we're gonna kind of delve in and see if you're doing anything different or is this universal and can work anywhere. So awesome. let's dive in. I know we still have some people that are booking parties. Any last minute tips for those people that are still reaching out? What's the best way to get a party on the books? Just keep asking. I mean, the more that you ask, the better your odds are. And if you're only asking, you know, three people, you're going to have lower odds than if you're asking 100. So just keep asking. Sarah, how about you? I completely, completely agree with that. I think the only other thing I would add is, you're right, we are at the final stages of the booking blitz, but it's only the final stages of the booking blitz. It's not the final stages of your business. So don't stop just because the blitz ends tonight, you've got tomorrow and Friday and Saturday, you've got an entire business out there to build. So keep Very going. Nice. And so true. All right, so let's dive in. Let's say we've got some parties on the books. We've got a date selected. Now let's talk about how do you make them successful? Um, Sandy, talk to me about hostess coaching. What does your process look like? Oh, you know, this process has been the same for me for actually all 17 years of my business at this point. Um, I am I've added to it. But initially, you know, I'm going to reach out to the hostess, reconfirm her date, reconfirm that she's excited, have that conversation with her, kind of get an idea. Is she looking for a bachelorette party? Is she looking for a girl's night? Is there any specific theme she wants to do? Just to kind of get her excited. Um, then what I'm going to do immediately is send her a save the date text so that she can blast that out to her friends. About a month before her party or sooner in, if she's booked it sooner, I set up her Facebook event for her. Um, I do all the pre-wording for her. I make her an admin on it and then she can invite her friends. I also send her, I still do paper hostess packets. And I think everybody kind of laughs and rolls their eyes at it, but it works. Um, so I send her a packet with 15 invitations. Um, I pre-fill out the information of the hostess over here and I label them so that she doesn't have to do anything. I send her um, a letter with that, um, like a cover letter. I do 40 guests in four minutes, send that out to her. That's from the training site, the um, hostess coaching site and get her rolling on a paper um, mailing system as well as I set up, I've engaged. So I use that system as well as a text broadcast to go out to her as well. I love it. Sarah, how about you? Any differences in process or is it fairly similar for you? 
It is fairly similar for what I do as well. And it's funny because Dandy, I won't laugh at you for a second for sending out a hostess packet because I a thousand percent believe in sending a hostess packet. There is there is a lot of truth to that law of reciprocity where when somebody receives something, they feel a little sense of obligation to give back. And my hostess is on the occasions where I have slacked and maybe not sent a hostess packet. I know that oftentimes they don't feel that same sense of reciprocity. So my hostess packet is pretty and it's filled with appreciation. I think that's the other big thing throughout my entire hostess coaching or party planning process. There is a great deal of appreciation of telling them thank you, telling them that I appreciate them a ton, telling them that I'm looking forward to our evening together and helping to make a great night for their girls. So all of that is really important to me. Oh, I love that messaging and I love making sure that you're really taking care of that hostess and that process and saying thank you for inviting you into her home and inviting her friends over as well. All right, so let's talk about the different parts of the country. Sandy, you're in Arizona. You guys are going to be escaping the heat real soon. And Sarah, I don't know if you've heard, but spring might come to your part of Michigan sometime, right? It snowed this morning. It oh snowed here this morning. So. Oh my gosh. So. <sighs> From a climate perspective, you are in different parts of the U.S. and it brings different seasonality. So Sandy, what are you doing now to encourage people to book and hold parties? Do you hold them at different times of day, different days of the week? How are you making it happen? You know, it's it's pretty consistent for me, at least. The one thing that I will say is that you've got to take pay attention to the calendar. You've got to know when does school end in your in your area. When are the holidays? When are the things in your locale that might have an impact on your business? So we just had Country Thunder a couple of weeks ago, which is a huge country music festival that happens for a weekend. Um, I typically will not book parties on that side of town where that takes place. I will go to you know an hour away for that weekend. Um, so it's just really paying attention to what's going on in your general area. Do I do them different times of day? No, because it's kind of 120 no matter what time of day it is. <laughs> so I don't care. Um, the, temp, the, the weather's just the, what it is. But the one thing that's nice is that while people are in town, they do want to escape into the inside. They don't want to be hanging out by the pool as much in these months. Um, they do tend to go away for the weekends. So that's another thing as I will pay attention to, you know, are your friends usually in town on weekends or do they escape up north um, and have that conversation with hostesses before they book their parties because they know their friends, right? And if their friends typically do go away or typically stay in town, they're going to know that. But you have to ask those questions. You do. Sarah, how about you? How are you managing the seasonality of Michigan? Well, to be honest, pool parties aren't usually a thing for us here simply because it's a little cold <laughs> most of the year. Um, so I, I agree with Sandy on that. They're staying indoors because it's too hot. We tend to stay indoors because it's too, too chilly for that kind of thing. Um, but we do play around with some of the winter stuff. You know, we love to do the different themes. So we will do your hoodie, you know, bring out your best hoodie themes and bring out your hot chocolate bar themes. And we're actually kind of keeping those, those going a little later into the season this year than we normally would have with those themes, but that's all right. And then as our summer rolls around, same thing that Sandy was saying, weekends, for us, a lot of the folks want to get away on the weekends because we do have a really short summer. So they're looking to do those fun things. So we tend to cater towards our hostesses who like to get together during the week for that quick happy hour party during on a weeknight. Um, but we also do a lot of parties at camps. So out at campfires and out at bonfires and, you know, let's get all the girls out to that camp that the guys usually use at deer season. So we tend to have some really fun occasions around just mixing it up and going to where they're at. You know, if our girls want to be out at a camp, we'll bring the party to them there. Love it. And they're probably gathering with people they don't always get to see. So their guest lists are probably even more diverse than they normally are. Oh, I love that. I would like a campfire, like pure romance party. Heck yeah. Um, all right. So number one, hostess coaching tip. Tell me if we've already hit it. Sandy, I'll start with you. Number one is communicate with your hostess. Um, I think the so many people 
just hand out their Facebook invite and never talk to her again until the day before. And then they're shocked that it's either going to have two people or it's fallen apart in the process. So the more you communicate, the better it is. And you might think that you're bugging her. You do this. You know, this is what you do. You're not bugging her. She's never done this before. Or if she has, it's not on a regular basis like we do. So just keep communication open and stay excited. And like Sarah said, stay appreciative towards them. Um, you know, really have that open line so that they do want to continue to have their, their party and they're still excited about it. Love it. Sarah, how about you? Number one hostess coaching tip. Definitely the same with the constant communication, the consistent communication and appreciation. But um, I would give a tip for those partners out there who are struggling with how to make it a little easier on themselves to do that. You know, Sandy mentioned she uses Engage. I know there's a lot of partners who are using Project Broadcast, stuff like that. But before I signed up for any kind of text system, I just kept everything as a note in my phone. And it is so much easier than trying to recreate the wheel every time. That becomes super time consuming. If you have your messaging ready to go and all you have to do is copy paste it and drop it into a text message, I was a million times more likely to do it. And I think most people are more likely to do it when it's ready to go. So true. I think you can scale the systems for your business where you're at in the beginning, but you don't have all that fancy technology. Don't worry about it. You can still do the cut and paste method and only takes a second. Ah, oh, I love it. Um, last question for both of you. What do you wish you knew then? Because you've both been in the business for so long. What do you wish you knew then that you know now? Uh, I think I wish I knew that when they stop talking to you, go ahead and book another party in that time slot. Um, if they're not communicating back, they're not having discussion back, they're not reciprocating back, chances are they may not hold. So go ahead and book something else. And worst case scenario, you have two on your books, right? You have to give it to a team member. That's worst case. Best case scenario is you're still working that party. Love it. Sarah, how about you? What do you wish you knew? <laughs> Oh, I wish I had known that you really don't have to recreate the wheel. Mm -hmm. I think that you know, when a lot of women get into starting their own business, they want to put their own touch on, on everything. And, and you can tweak things to make it sound like you. It should be personal and it should be genuine. It should sound like your voice. Um, but don't recreate the wheel. Corporate has already offered us this amazing YouTube site and our training site. And you have so many resources. Pick one and utilize it. So good. Thank you so much, Sandy Latour, Sarah. You know, we love spending time with you and you're such great examples of making it happen in the business for the long term. So thank you for all your tips. I can't wait to talk to you next time. Everybody, you. do you want to know where they probably learned how to do a lot of this? national training. I hope that you have registered and if not, now's your time to go to events.pureromance.com and make it happen. get at national training goes above and beyond anything that just helps you whether it's financial training helping you book parties helping you sponsor new recruits like everything is covered here just to help you be making more money having more time with your family it's all here and it's amazing so national training is all about becoming the best consultant you can be for yourself and for your customers so I think it's just a part of living your best life because you become the best version of you for yourself and for everybody that you meet I'm able to become the best version of myself by attending these trainings and prioritizing myself. You can't pour into anyone else until you fill your own cup. What are you going to do when you get home to make your journey better? How many choices are you gonna to make to step out of your comfort zone to be a better you? I have the attitude to want to develop. I have the attitude to want to put good things into my mind. I have the attitude to make my story mine.
All right, hey, listen, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I really appreciate everybody showing up. Again, like Cheryl said, get registered for national training. It's going to be so important. Make sure you take that time frame. Uh, May 2nd is when we will be showcasing the final leaderboard. So you want to tune in to Live Alive on May 2nd. We'll be showcasing that. Again, continue to keep filling up your parties. Continue to keep putting them on the pages, on the OO. And let's see who's going to walk away being that team that's going to win $1,000 towards their next team meeting and are you you're going to be one of those three people walking away with $100 in free product or $100 in swag. Don't forget, tune in May 2nd. That'll be the when we have the final leaderboard. And I want to tell you to everybody that's participated in the last three days, I truly appreciate you, truly excited for the future of what's going on with your parties, with your party business. And this is a great way to fill up those funnels, those abilities to be able to reconnect uh, with people during this amazing time. So from Cincinnati, Ohio, from your studio here at the Pure Romance headquarters, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow morning on Rise and Grind, nine o'clock. Let's get it, let's do it, let's have some fun. So again, thank you so much from Cincinnati, Ohio, from your corporate headquarter here, our studio to your home. I appreciate it and I'll see you tomorrow.